Safe Passage is a domestic peace program, and we serve victims and survivors of child abuse, domestic violence, and sexual violence. Our organization has the goal of eradicating violence from our community, and we, you know, plan to do that through support and education. Domestic violence, child abuse, sexual violence, they're still happening. But at this time, people are forced to be in the environment with their abuser. So we can assume that the violence is continuing to happen, but that it's going unreported. Um, and I would say that for many families, you know, domestic violence is just one of the many issues that they would be dealing with at this time with survival being the main goal. In advocacy, we talk about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It talks about basic needs needing to be met before someone can focus on mental health. And we we use this model a lot in the work that we do because we find it to be so true. If someone's basic needs aren't met, food, water, safe housing, um, you know, a, a safe place for their children, then they can't really deal with anything else in that moment because all of their resources that they have, and I mean that emotional resources like coping mechanisms, um, all of the resources that they possess, they, tip, they tend to use for those basic needs. And so I would say that I believe that, that domestic violence is probably worse at this time because there's so much stress happening in a household. And I know from working with the clients that when they're stressed, that they, the clients often see an increase in violence happening to them. What I feel like is the biggest challenge is that we ourselves are not operation, operating at a normal capacity, and therefore we don't know the full extent of what our clients' needs are. And also many of the community resources that I would normally refer people to, they're in the same situation as everyone else, you know, trying to figure out how to work from home, how they can still treat people and help people with what's going on. Space is another issue, especially at our shelter location, you know, due to COVID-19 and there being space requirements that people stay a certain distance from each other. I would say that we have very limited space at our shelter due to this. What we are doing is we have our support line um, is it still available? Our emergency shelter is still available. As for advocacy, which is the area that I supervise, we're doing it over the phone and, e and over email, if applicable, of course, if it's safe for the client to be to contact us through those means, then we are communicating with them like that. Um, the same goes for counseling. Right now our counselors are doing check-ins with clients over the phone, again, if it is safe, so that people can reach out for support if they have the ability to do so. So if they have the ability to call, we want them to call. If they have the ability to send an email, we want them to send us an email. We want them to reach out for support and know that support is available to them. It's certainly looking different these days, but we're still available to support people through this.